uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how we can integrate that uh, remove background library of python and use it inside node.js express web application so we have this web application guys where we allow the user to upload a image file and then we can remove that background using that library let me show you the image file let me we have, will be using this image file guys to remove the background let me select this image file this is this can be either jpg or png file and we click this button it will upload this image file it will take some time and then it will download this image file as an attachment so now you can see that guys the background is successfully removed four persons are there guys first second third fourth so you can see the complexity of the image and still it is able to uh, remove the background of this image so you can see how neatly it has done this it's a fully fleshed uh, open source library. I have already made videos on this library. It's a newly library, REM BG. It's a Python library and uh, it's a tool or a module which is developed by GitHub developers. So this is their GitHub repository guys. You can download it globally inside your system. So, and uh, let me also show you one other, let me download my own image and show you. It works uh, with single images best if you have a single image like this. So I can simply download this image. So let's suppose uh, I, I want to remove that background. I select this image, click remove background. So again this image will be downloaded. And now you can see that guys the background is successfully removed here. You can see how quality wise the image is looking quite good so now the image is fully transparent the background has been successfully removed so this is a free api guys and you don't need to pay any sort of thing it's a fully fleshed library like ffmpg you have used ffmpg library for video audio processing so this is the equivalent for images which is remove background so now let's get started how we can use it inside node.js express so first of all you need to install express library we also will need formidable library guys to upload files so express formidable so these are two libraries and after that guys uh, all the source code i have given in the description of the video so you can check out the link to get the source code so now first of all we will write our index.js so we will import the express server we will import the formidable library and also guys we will need this child process to execute the command dynamically inside node.js you will also need the file system module and then we will simply make a new express app so we will listen on this port number 5000 so here you will say that uh, app is listening on 5000 so here guys basically what we will do we will basically have a simple get request on the home route we will simply load a template we will send out the file which is uh, index.html so here guys after this uh, we will after we do this we do need to create this index.html file and it will basically contain a very simple uh, post request guys this uh, inside this uh, we will have a simple form So this form basically will have a action which will go to remove background and method here will be post and guys it will also contain encoding type multi-part form data So inside this guys we will have input type file and the name will be image and we will only be accepting image files so we will say image slash star 
and then basically we'll have a button which will be of type submit and here we will simply say remove background so if you now reload this application we will start this application node more index.js so app is listening on port 5000 if I change this port so this is our form guys and now we need to make this post request which is uh, remove background so inside this post request guys what we need to do we will now use the formidable library guys that we imported so inside this post request guys we will now get access to the form here we will say new formidable and it contains this method guys which is incoming form and we can now access the form here and it contains a parse method guys basically request and then we can say error fields and uh, files this is the method inside formidable so this makes it very much easy guys to basically access the files which is selected by the user so if any sort of error take place then we can simply show a console log error message that error parsing the form and then we can show the error so sorry if no error take place guys then we will simply return a status So in that case, in the if block we need to write here, if any sort of error take place in that case, after we console log the error message, we will return a simple error message that uh, internal server error. And if no error take place guys, in that case we just need to get access to the input file. So this will be files.image. So whatever the name attribute you have given guys inside index.html so we have given image here so this will be image so after this we will now just output path we will say date dot now so every time a unique file name will be triggered you can extension is dot jpg so here guys basically we will execute our command this command we will write remg and the thing guys you need to install this library globally npm i dash g r e m b g this is the command guys globally you need to install this package npm i dash g r e m b g so what this command does basically it basically install this inside globally so now if you write this command which is r e m b g it will now execute and you can basically say dash dash help and it will show you so here if you want to convert a file you will simply write this command remg dash i for sorry i for input and here you will provide our input file path so if there is an image here which is present right here inside your directory let me take an image here and show to you if i copy this image paste it and change this to here I say here input so this is basically our image file uh, sorry this is already converted let me take this one let me take input image so this is the image guys you will see that and let me remove this file this is our image file guys you will see that and now we will simply pass this so we will say that input image dot jpg and then output image let's suppose output dot jpg so if i execute this command guys you will see now this command will take place and this background is automatically removed here you will see that so this is a simple command that we performed right here the background is removed so it's a very powerful library guys you can also use it in the command line as well just this simple command is there you need to provide the input file path and the output file path 
So this will be the concept we will use inside this. We will simply have i and then we will provide the input file path which is input file and it contains this property in file path and then we will provide the output file path which is output path. That's all. And here you will use the execute module guys that we put here from child process. You will execute this command and then basically in the callback function it has its uh, if any sort of error take place standard output and standard error and right here if any sort of error take place guys in that case we will simply show the error message we will say console log error if no error take place in that case we simply need to download the image file as an attachment so response download output path and we also need to delete it from the server so we will say file system unlink output path this is the application guys that's all that we need to do right here and if I open this now again refresh the application normon index.js choose the image file click remove background it will take some time and then it will uh, remove the background you will see that You can choose any file. This is the image. Let's suppose click remove background. So this is the very simplest of application guys. Unlimited number of times you can remove the background. There is no limit of API. It's a free fledged fledged open source API of remove background in Python that we are using as a Node.js module. So thank you very much guys for watching this video. All the source code is given in the description. And I will be seeing you in the next video.